The vast cosmos The vastness of the cosmos is not still, not silent. The universe is alive with motion, constantly unfolding in ways both subtle and immense. It is expanding endlessly, stretching the very fabric of space itself in every direction, as though creation never ceased. This expansion is so relentless, so unyielding, that it becomes nearly impossible to define an edge or even imagine its true extent. The more humanity discovers, the further the horizon of mystery retreats before us. Each revelation pushes the boundaries of our understanding, leaving even greater questions in its wake. And yet, with powerful tools like the James Webb Space Telescope, our species can now gaze deeper into the universe than at any point in history. Since its launch, scientists, including voices like Brian Cox, have begun to rethink not just the distances, but the very scale of existence itself. What we currently observe may be only a fragment, a faint sliver of something unimaginably greater, an echo of a reality that extends far beyond what our instruments can reach. Perhaps the universe is finite, a cosmic sphere with boundaries hidden in the dark. Or perhaps it is truly infinite, stretching forever without end, a canvas larger than human imagination can contain. Within the observable cosmos alone, astronomers estimate there are about two trillion galaxies. That number is overwhelming to the human mind, and yet it represents only what we can currently detect. Beyond our sight, the real universe may be stranger, larger, and infinitely more complex than anything we can yet comprehend. As Carl Sagan once said, we are a way for the cosmos to know itself. And with every new image from the James Webb Space Telescope, humanity inches closer to answering one of its most ancient and haunting questions. Just how big is everything? To place this immensity into perspective, consider speeds familiar to us. Driving around Earth's equator at 70 miles per hour would take only about 15 days. Reaching the moon at that same speed, around 5 months. Mars? Nearly 60 years of steady travel. And Neptune, the most distant major planet in our solar system, would require more than 4,000 years. Now think of Voyager 1, humanity's farthest and fastest spacecraft. Launched in 1977, it has been traveling for decades at an astonishing 38,000 miles per hour. Even at that staggering speed, it took 35 long years just to cross the boundary of our solar system. And yet, in cosmic terms, Voyager remains astonishingly close to home, barely past the doorstep of the universe. Our solar system itself is but one small neighborhood within the Milky Way galaxy. A vast stellar city containing some 300 billion stars, most of them with planetary systems of their own. The nearest star system, Alpha Centauri, lies 4.3 light years away. And at Voyager's current pace, it would take about 70,000 years to reach it. Now, think bigger still. The light from Betelgeuse, a red supergiant star roughly 640 light years away, began its journey toward us centuries ago. When we look at it tonight, we are witnessing ancient light, photons that left the star long before telescopes, before electricity, even before modern civilization began. Even the radio signals humans have been transmitting for just over a century have traveled no farther than 100 light years in all directions enough to touch perhaps 15,000 stars. But against the backdrop of the Milky Way's hundreds of billions, that distance is barely a scratch on the surface. To glimpse our true scale, imagine shrinking the solar system down to the size of a coin. The Milky Way would then span the size of Earth itself. And beyond it lie trillions of other galaxies, each one an island of suns, each with stories we may never know. Our nearest galactic neighbor, Andromeda, is 2.5 million light years away. It contains a trillion stars and is slowly drifting toward us. Billions of years from now, it will merge with the Milky Way, creating a colossal new galaxy. Yet because the stars are so far apart, almost none of them will collide directly, a cosmic dance in silence. Zoom out even further, and we find ourselves in the local group a modest cluster of galaxies bound together by gravity. That cluster is part of the larger Virgo cluster. And the Virgo cluster itself belongs to the Laniakea supercluster, a sprawling continent of galaxies with over 100,000 members. Even so, this is only a tiny fragment of what lies beyond, 
a mere patch in the quilt of the cosmos. Mystery, meaning, and humanity's place astronomers estimate the observable universe contains around 10 million superclusters. They are not scattered randomly but woven together into a delicate structure known as the cosmic web. Here, vast filaments of galaxies stretch across billions of light years, glowing faintly like pearls strung along invisible threads of gravity. Between them lie immense voids, regions where there is almost no matter at all. Silent, empty expanses that still play a role in shaping the grand evolution of the universe. And beyond all that we can see lies the faintest, oldest light in existence, the cosmic microwave background radiation, the afterglow of the universe's fiery birth nearly 14 billion years ago. It is the oldest message written in light, a frozen memory of creation itself. Yet even this is not the final boundary. Beyond it are galaxies so distant their light may never reach us. The universe is expanding faster than light can cross, sealing those regions beyond our cosmic horizon forever. Some cosmologists suggest the total universe may be at least 250 times larger than what we can observe. Others believe it may be truly infinite. Either way, the lesson is humbling. We live on a fragile island in an endless ocean of stars. And yet, something extraordinary has happened here. On this small, blue planet, the universe has become conscious of itself. Atoms forged in the cores of long dead stars have assembled into molecules, into cells, into living beings capable of asking, where did we come from? Why are we here? What else is out there? Our existence may be improbable, but it is not insignificant. We are not outsiders to the universe, we are a part of its story. Every cell in our body carries the memory of stars. Every heartbeat echoes billions of years of evolution. Every question we ask is a spark from the original fire of creation. We are the universe looking back upon itself. This truth humbles us, reminding us of life's fragility. But it also awakens a deeper strength. Curiosity is our superpower. It drives us to explore black holes, to decode the atmospheres of distant exoplanets, to map the whispers of the cosmic background. Even if the stars are far away, we remain forever connected to them. And so, we stand at the threshold of a new cosmic era. With instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope, our vision is no longer blurred. We can now see galaxies formed only a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. We can analyze the atmospheres of distant planets, searching for water vapor, methane, carbon dioxide, molecules once thought unique to Earth, now discovered light years away. But with every answer, new questions emerge. Why is the universe expanding faster than our models predict? What is the mysterious dark energy driving this acceleration? What unseen matter binds galaxies together, invisible yet undeniable? And perhaps the most haunting question of all, where is everyone? If life is a natural outcome of the cosmos, why does the night sky remain so silent? Are we truly alone? Or are we simply too early, or too late, to hear other voices? These mysteries are not just scientific curiosities. They are existential frontiers, forcing us to look inward even as we reach outward. Because the same technologies that reveal distant galaxies also confront us with challenges here at home, climate change, resource scarcity, and the pressing question of whether humanity can evolve fast enough, not just technologically but ethically, to survive our own intelligence. The universe will not wait for us. Stars will burn out. Galaxies will drift apart. Black holes will fade into silence. Time marches forward, indifferent to our choices. We have a window, and it is open now. We can remain divided, fearful, and short-sighted. Or we can rise together, with unity, with vision, and with curiosity burning in our hearts. The next era of exploration will not be defined only by rockets or telescopes. It will be defined by how we choose to see ourselves. Are we fragile wanderers, lost in cosmic chaos? Or are we the seeds of consciousness, destined to blossom among the stars? The story of the cosmos is still being written. And though we are small, it begins with us, here, now, on this pale blue dot adrift in a vast, silent sea.
With courage in our hearts, curiosity in our minds, and starlight in